an ancient Jewish tradition says. Azaz was God observing the worlds of the Torah and creating the world. How do we scientifically prove or disprove this proposition? We are on to an eventful journey to scientifically examine this statement from ancient Jewish tradition. Let us first explain how we intend to do that. Suppose that we measure environmental temperature for 10 consecutive days. We use two thermometers, one that delivers readings on a finite scale, another which measures temperatures on a Celsius scale. At the end of the measuring period, we have 10 pairs of measurements that we now plot in a two-dimensional coordinate system. On the horizontal axis, we mark temperature readings in Celsius. On the vertical axis, the same in Fahrenheit. Ignoring possible measurement errors, the points will look like this. Obviously, the points are aligned on a straight line, since transition from one scale to another is achieved by multiplying by a certain number and then adding another. This is an equation of a straight line in which y represents one scale, for example, finite, and x represents the other scale. Actual measurements would most likely contain measurement errors. Therefore, the true scatter of the points would more realistically look like this. Let us summarize what we see here. Although the points do not align exactly on a straight line due to measurement errors, it is obvious that there is a linear relationship between the measurements on the two scales, on the two axes. In fact, these axes represent the same physical property, namely temperature, only on different scales. How do we judge whether the points are close enough to a straight line so that one can deduce that there is a linear relationship between the two scales? This decision cannot be taken arbitrarily. To make this decision in an objective manner, we use statistical analysis that would scientifically determine whether the sample of points represent a truly linear relationship. Let us generalize. Whenever two sets of data are aligned near to a straight line and statistical analysis indicates a linear relationship between the two sets, this implies that the two sets represent measurement of same physical property only on different measuring scales. Is it possible that numerical values of biblical Hebrew words represent physical properties of the objects that they stand for, just as we have witnessed with measuring temperature by two different thermometers. Let us examine the credibility of this hard-to-believe proposition. We start with a simple example and take the three Hebrew words for moon, earth, sun, namely Yareach, Eretz, Shemesh. On the horizontal axis, we mark the numeric values of the Hebrew words. On the vertical axis, the diameters of these celestial objects on a log scale, a widely used scientific scale for representing a set of measures or set of numbers that differ by order of magnitude. We obtain the following plot. This is indeed stunning. We realize that the points are aligned on a straight line with a linear correlation of 0. 9.99. If the points were calculated from a mathematical equation of a straight line, we would have obtained a correlation of 1.000, and here 0 0.999. According to the general conclusion we have reached earlier, this configuration of points indicate indicates that the two axes represent the same physical property, namely diameter, 
only on the two different scales. On the horizontal axis, the Hebrew numerical value scale, H and V scale. On the vertical axis, the scientific scale, representing actual physical measurements as submitted, for example, by NASA. Is this the only example available? Not at all. This example is not singular, neither is it unique. In fact, it represents a generally prevalent property of biblical Hebrew words where their numerical values are related to a major physical property shared by all objects that the words stand for. In my research about the Bible and biblical Hebrew, numerous other instances containing four or five or even nine points have been described. The results are consistent with those shown for Moon, Earth, Sun. The points in the plot are aligned near a straight line. These results are summarized in my book, Coincidences in the Bible and in Biblical Hebrew, freely available as a PDF file on my personal blog and animated in an hour-long movie produced by Mr. Oren Evron and posted on YouTube. Let us see a few more examples. We take two related trios of words, stillness or silence, sound, light, in Hebrew, dmama, kol, o, and the second trio, stillness, silence, thunder, rainbow, in Hebrew, dmama, ram, keshet. Surprisingly, the mama in Hebrew means both a lack of movement, standstill, but also silence. On the vertical axis, we mark the speed of light, the speed of sound, and speed of zero, no movement, again on a log scale. Here are the plots of these two trios of words. Obviously, the points are aligned on a straight line. The last example relates to the planets and their respective masses. On the horizontal axis, we mark the numerical values of the Hebrew biblical names for the planets, and on the vertical axis, the mass of the planets in kilogram, again on a log scale. Again a linear relationship is in full view. You may now ask, perhaps such alignment of points near a straight line is highly likely to occur by random with biblical Hebrew words. Maybe there is nothing unusual or even extraordinary about these results. To check this claim, I have conducted a large-scale simulation study on the computer. In this study, I have programmed the computer to artificially generate, by random, thousands of trios of words like the three words in the first three examples. The computer was programmed to ensure that Hebrew letters are randomly drawn according to their proportion of appearance in the Jewish Hebrew Bible. For example, the second letter in the alphabet, Bet, appears 5.4% in the Bible. Therefore, the probability that the computer would select this letter to be included in any artificially generated word would also be 5.4%. Once these samples of thousands of artificial trios of words had been generated, the computer counted how many trios of words aligned themselves near to a straight line, similarly to what we have actually observed with the original Hebrew words. For example, what percentage of words delivered a plot similar to the plot of the first example, the example with the moon, earth, and sun. A consistent result kept resurfacing. The likelihood of a configuration of points 
generated randomly by the computer to show a linear relationship is practically zero. Practically zero. Proper statistical analysis consistent with that employed in any scientific research has corroborated the scientific validity of this conclusion. In summary, numeric values of biblical Hebrew words have been scientifically shown to contain scientific information known to us only in the last century or so. What conclusion may one draw from these stunning results? And yes, one more surprise. Statistical analysis relating to the creation narrative as unfolding in the first chapter of Genesis has shown to be consistent with the scientific cosmological timeline. Statistically, highly significant results have been obtained. Intrigued by these results, view and experience the full mov movie, a link to which is provided below. I'm Professor Chaim Shaw from the Department of Industrial Engineering and Management, Ben Gurion University of the Negev, Israel.